Holland. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Flushed out right. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 33 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. That is caught with Sean Bateman. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. On second down and four. Jackson escaping the pressure right. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. He can't get him down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arm saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. Looking to throw on second down. Pick it. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. From the gun on third down, Pickett. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That's a defense you can bounce when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before they have. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. It's a big play there for Baltimore. Flush to his right. Powers through him. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. The quick slant caught. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. From the two now, second and goal. Now Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Back to throw, pick it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast in the beginning of the third quarter. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half and we will start at the 25 yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They've been settling quite a bit. They've been able to move the football some, but they've just been settling. That's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard. I love that word you picked, settling, because nowadays in this NFL, you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high-powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Looking to throw. Pick it. Oh, Johnson, nice grab. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Torn back across his body. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the Ravens will take over possession here up at the 44. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. We're in Baltimore. Third quarter action. Second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. Flushed out right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Quickly into the hands of Beckham. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Jackson now. Bulldozes past him. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it second and goal now as they look for that final dagger. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Gus Edwards. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run as the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So the drive there took six plays, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So now the Steelers down by 15. At time, a huge factor. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Pass complete to Robinson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Escaping the pressure right. He's got Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the gun, Pickett, eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Marlon Humphrey. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, 
they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Now Dobbins. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Tucker's kick is good. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory. He's got a man complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. He's got the first down here inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Allen Robinson. There to make the grab. And the Steelers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Boswell good with the extra point. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got.